It is a city where passion for football is red hot. Welcome to Naples in southern Italy. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Napoli facing Salzburg. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Insigne in the centre. The Napoli starting 11. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. This is the lineup for the visitors today. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, he's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Right behind it. The only way he can score there goes either side of the keeper. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, if I'm a teammate of this lad, I want to get the ball to him as often as I can. Because well, visionary passing. Lorenzo Insigne. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Attending to his defensive chores. Corner kick forthcoming. And a deep ball in. Splendid save to foil the header lead. Yeah, it was. Goalkeepers are there for that reason. Strikers score. Goalies are going to keep the ball out of the net. Mertens. Teammates could potentially join in. Speculative ball fired to the near post. And a no-nonsense clearance. Fabian. Crossing possibilities. Playing with purpose and control. It's a cross towards the near post. Fist on ball. Well, he's lost the ball. Koulibaly. Fabian. Now Mertens has offered himself as the runner. To the middle from Lorenzo Insigne. I'm not afraid to have a... You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Now, what could he do here? Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Well, can he make this move count? Zlatko Yunuzovic has it. By no means on his own here. And whipped into the box. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And will there be a tangible end product? And options in the centre. Carrying a genuine threat here. Mertens. Mario Rui. Zlatko Yunuzovic has it. Useful looking position, you've got to say. I think, Lee, we all look forward, don't we, to the various stages of the Champions League, from the group stage to the knockout stages. Each has its own dynamic. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start, I must admit. But the, uh, the group stage is an introduction to everybody, to all the teams that are in the competition. I think that's vital. You get to know the players, the teams, how they play. And then once the knockout stages start, the real excitement for me kicks in. He just keeps going. No let-up. Three 
Josh Mertens might fancy this one. Prepared to take on the shot. And cleared away. And so it is, the first half story has been written. He was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Lee, your thoughts? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Here's Insigne. Mario Rui. It's with Hamsik. And here is Alan. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. He's going forward well here. Angled towards Insigne. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Well, regaining possession for his side, cleverly. Hamsik now. Fabian. Mertens. Now, let's see what they can do here. And dispossessed. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Ball with Yunuzovic. The attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Hamshik now. Mertens. Diawara. Lorenzo Insigne. Callejon here. Others in the vicinity. Into the middle, Callejon. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. Slatko Yunuzovic has it. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Ball with Yunuzovic. Is he going to punish them here? Well, he failed to get it away properly. And Koulibaly thwarting them. And it's gone behind for the corner. Over it comes. And a half-baked clearance. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Clattered away. Diawara. Mertens. Zielinski, Mertens, and it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes, Mario Rui, Mertens, here's Insigne, and a strong tackle, Mertens, nothing wrong with that idea. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. They will now make use of their substitutes bench.
And Diawara has it. And now Zielinski. And five minutes to go. Hisai. Zielinski. And now Hisai. Hamshik now. Diawara. Mertens. Lorenzo Insigne. Andres Mertens. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a deep ball in. Attending to his defensive chores. Taking care of business defensively here. The final whistle is sounded and both teams will have to be content with a draw here on match day one. Well, it's not ideal. You can't...